Sweet Mary Malone, it's video number three. This video is coming to you in three parts. Part one, what I'm doing right now. And what I'm doing right now is drawing a pinup girl. The backstory to this pinup girl is my friends Jermaine, Billy, James, and Fernando are in a really cool band called Wanted. And they want me to do the album art for their first EP, and it's called Government Cheese, You Know You Want It. So now, I've been fiddling around my house all day for inspiration, and I was like, might as well look at the cheese packets. And I found really cool inspiration. Oh, let me take my glasses off. And my inspiration was the Lando Lakes Indian girl, you know, the one that stands out like this. Would you like some Lando Lakes? And... I figured to avoid copyright infringement, I'll have glasses back on. I'm just gonna draw a really cool pinup girl and incorporate it into the cheese theme. And it's coming out pretty good. Oh, yeah, link in the sidebar. They're pretty cool. But right now, I'm just trying to step away from the whole thing, give myself a break because I don't want to get frustrated because I'm having trouble because Miss Pinup Girl has her hand like this. And I've never been any good at drawing hands. Mm, is this my good side? Is this my good side? And I just need to step back, take a breather, and film this video. Alright. Part two in a few minutes. Pieces! Part. Okay, so... I did pretty much nothing today. I just got done drawing the pinup girl, and that hand was a bitch. I had to like totally readjust it, and I have to do more readjustments because I'm getting frustrated. I don't care what anyone says. Drawing, painting, anything artistic is not like riding a bike. You cannot stop for a while and then expect to be just as good as you were when you get back on the bike. You blow like I do right now, but I'm going to get better. I'm going to slowly force myself to draw at least like one little thing a day until I'm like good again. I actually really like my shirt. Why are the Yellow Rat Bass in New York City? Awesome store. Wish I could shop there more often, but I can't because I have zero dollars. <laughs> oh, well. I saw something in the background on the camera and I freaked myself out. Okay. Oh. Fun things. This issue of Batman and Robin. It pretty much... Well, it's the third issue. I haven't read the first two because I haven't had time to pick up my comics from the comic store. But it really sounds like to me that DC's making fun of the swan flu scare. Because you have Dr. Pig, spelt P-Y-G, and he's operating and infecting everyone with what they call a flu-like disease. They said whatever he's doing is spreading like the flu. Let me see if I can find you the panel. Mm -hmm. My mom's watching the Golden Girls inside while she's sleeping. Whoa. I totally missed that page. Okay, it turns out I can't find the panel because I'd have to reread the comic because it turns out I missed one total whole page. That sucks. I just totally figured out I could do something cool. Look. Turn the color off. And then... Turn it back on. That actually really amuses me. Hmm. Caca! Okay, but yeah, tomorrow I'm having a barbecue with my friends, my family, and possibly any magic player from Royal Collectibles that wants to come back to eat some foods. 
should be fun. But, nah, no but. I did do some smart people things today. In terms of that, I mean my math homework, in which I calculated compound interest of an investment of $50,000 with 5% interest over 20 years. And holy shit, it's really a long process to calculate compound interest. Bankers and accountants, I feel bad for you. Also, I was telling my friend Samantha, or Sam, whatever, about Petrarch and how he wrote a majority of his sonnets, if not all of them, about a woman named Laura, which he never met. And I learned a little I learned a little bit about Petrarch in the tenth grade, and I learned that he's seen her in church on Good Friday or Easter Friday, and he was just so captivated by her beauty that she that he just wrote all these wonderful, beautiful sonnets about her. Funny thing is, though, generally in those days, women wore veils over their faces when they went to church. So, for all he knew, she could be hideous. But, he didn't know, and he wrote all these wonderful, beautiful things about her, and for that, we are grateful, because he changed, he changed poetry. He has a sonnet style named after him. Let's see, I'm going to try and read one, the one I found for my friend. It has a really weird name in Italian, I can't say it, but I'm going to try to recite it. Hmm. Let's see. Here goes nothing. Those eyes neath which my passionate rapture rose. The arms, hands, feet, the beauty that erewhile could my own soul from its own self beguile. And in a separate world of dreams and clothes, the hair's bright uh, tresses of golden glows, and the soft lighting of the angelic smile that changed this earth to some celestial isle. And now but dust, poor dust, nothing knows, and yet I live, myself, I grieve and scorn. Left dark without the light, I loved in vain. Adrift the tempest of bark forlorn. Dread in the source of all my amor amorous strain. Dried in the channel of my thoughts outworn. And my sad heart can sound but notes of pain. Okay. Turns out, I don't have a very good speaking voice. Well, I do have a very good speaking voice, but when I'm speaking, not reading off like a teleprompter. Hmm. Poo. Um. Oh. Something actually made me really excited today. In honor of the Beatles rock band coming out, Entertainment Weekly released this beautiful issue. It's all about the Beatles, and it's wonderful. It, well, and they have their favorite top 50 songs, and I've never been like a really big Beatles fan. Well, I am a fan of the Beatles, but I've never been like, oh my god, I love the Beatles. So, I'm not a poser, don't worry. But yeah, I downloaded a lot of the songs on top of the ones I already had. And I pretty much had a party today. Before I go, just want to say, Spider-Man loves you. I love you. I love everybody. And, hold on. Hey Jack, I love you. Just told my sister I love her. She's sitting across from me. Deuces. Oh, I forgot. P.S. Miss Jillian Bell. Since you gave me my challenge, I think it's only right I give you a challenge. If you're watching this, I challenge you to recite as many, many uh, periodic elements as you can. You can cheat if you want, because I cheated. But I just want to hear you recite them. Well, if you do so accept this challenge, this message will self-destruct. In three. Oh, that's a four. Three, two, one. Bye bye.